Yep, I just want to let you know that I made it out alive and that I might actually have a chance to do it if Jacob's dad says yes. Okay, I'll call you later. Good night, Mom. I'm still surprised your mom gave you permission to go. I know, she's usually really overprotective. Maybe she hit her head while I was gone and it rewired something in her brain. So, Jacob still hasn't called or texted you about it? No. I texted him all last night and he never responded, nor did he reply to my calls. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe his phone died? No, I don't think so. He could have easily charged it. Maybe his dad said no and he's too afraid to tell you? I, I don't think he would hide that from me. Or at least I hope he isn't. I know I would be afraid to tell you, especially since he doesn't want to hurt his chances with you. Uh, uh, yeah. Pink? N nothing What are you trying to hide from me? Uh, uh... Tell me, or I'll call Mary and tell her about your visit to Tokyo yesterday without her permission. You wouldn't. Pink, we're best friends. You know what I'm capable of. Fine. That's more like it. So, what's going on? Well, you know how me and that stupid kid from school kind of got into a fight? Yeah, so? Well, you know how Jacob got hurt because he got into my way. He was protecting you, but yes, go on. Well, he may have, uh, asked me out and, uh, I may have said yes. So, you two are dating? Yes. <laughs> it's about time! W what It's been over a year since he's liked you! I'm surprised he waited this long. He definitely likes you. You think so? Totally! Before you came along, he was this player that dated a different girl every week. But once you showed up, he totally stopped doing that and spent his time with you. You definitely changed him for the better. Oh. But I am mad you never told me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emma, but we were going to keep it a secret for now until we were ready to tell everyone. But you're right. I should have told you immediately. You're darn right. Anyways, when we get to school, you should talk with Jacob and see why he never responded to you. Yeah, I will. Hopefully his dad didn't say no, though. Yeah, but what if Jacob's dad did say yes? Where do you think we'll stay? Maybe a luxury hotel or a city penthouse? Emma, calm down. You have dollar bills in your eyes. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I got too carried away. Okay, we should head to school now, or we're going to be late. Okay, let's go. If I could run with you And from what I have heard You do the same thing too I wanna say forever We could be good together Guess misery loves company Better to late than never You know we could do better So take a chance and run with me
Remember, you're the only person that knows that me and Jacob are dating. Please do not tell anyone else. I promise, I will not tell a soul. So you and Jacob are dating? Emma! I'm sorry, he can tell when I'm hiding something. Also, that Jacob asked his dad for us to stay here for the summer for you. Emma, come on! Okay, that one was on me. Ugh. I'm sorry, Pink, but you can trust Lucas. He won't tell anyone else. Because, well, he doesn't really talk much. Yeah, don't worry. I won't say anything. Fine, okay. Pink, are you and Jacob dating? What the? Emma! It wasn't me, I swear! Wait, really? You guys are? How did you find out? I just put the pieces together and figured it out. No wonder you guys wanted to split into pairs when we got to our trip. Wait, you guys didn't stay in a group after Mary specifically said to stay in a group? Are you really going to lecture me after you betrayed me? I... I will let this go just this once. I'm sorry, are we not supposed to know about it? No, we were going to keep it a secret, but I guess that's impossible now. If it makes you feel any better, I promise that I will not tell anyone. Won't tell anyone what? None of your business, Amber! Jeez, looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. She's in a bad mood this morning. Because of you people! Don't blame your problems on us. Ugh! All right, guys, let's go to our classes. Yeah, yeah, see you guys at lunch. Yep, see ya. So, why have you been ignoring me? I haven't. You haven't replied to any of my messages or returned to any of my calls. If that's not ignoring, then I have no idea what is. I've just been busy. He said no, didn't he? I... No, it's fine. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. It was a stupid idea anyways. Thanks for trying, though. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. It was your dad who said no, not you. Ugh, I was really looking forward to this. Like, just imagining me on set and acting, I've probably never told you this before, but ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to act. But after my father's death, I stopped. I... I didn't know that. Of course you wouldn't. I don't really talk about it much, but the play we did last year was the first thing I did in acting since I stopped six years ago. Even though I was just an understudy and made posters and props, I still really like doing it. Alright kids, let's get started. I'm sorry, Pink. I know how much you were looking forward to this. It's fine. Things happen. Maybe there's a way you can still stay? You could ask Kiko. I'm sure she wouldn't mind you staying with her for the summer. 
I guess. But I just had my heart set on all of us staying here instead of just me. I wanted you all to be here with me while I do this. We will still be there for you. Just not... physically. Yeah. Outside. Now. <sighs> so, what do you need? You're lying to Pink, aren't you? What? I can tell you're lying to Pink about this whole thing. He never said no, didn't he? Why are you doing this to her? <laughs> what do you know? I know that you wouldn't do something like this, and your father would never say no to his precious son. Also, you wouldn't intentionally hurt your own girlfriend. What? Oh, come on. You thought I wouldn't notice? You both aren't fooling anyone. <sighs> so tell me why you're lying to her. Why would I tell you? Do you not understand that I have the advantage here? I'm sure Pink would love to know what's really going on between us. Don't you think? You wouldn't dare. I would. But if you tell me what's really going on, then I won't say anything. Just yet. You're an awful person. No, I'm just watching out for myself because no one else will. If resorting to these things help me, then so be it. Do you not care that you hurt people with your actions and words? I used to. Now, what did he really say? <sighs> he said okay to it, but... But what? If we stayed here for the summer, then I would have to sign a document stating that when the time comes, I would marry you. Where did Jacob go? And Amber? Who knows? <sighs> Maybe Mr. Lee can figure something out for you, and then you could pay him back month by month. Mr. Lee? Mr. Lee is the person who offered me the job. Oh. How did you know his name, Ethan? I went with Pink to see him. Yeah, my mom asked me to bring him with me in case something happened. Oh, okay. I wonder why Jacob's dad said no. It couldn't possibly have anything to do with money, because they have more than enough. Did Jacob say the reason why? No, but it looked like he wasn't going to say it anyways. Maybe you should ask him why when he gets back. Yeah, I'll ask. Maybe I could even do something to change his dad's mind? Yeah, you could try. Where were you guys? I had to use the bathroom. Jacob, where were you? I was outside, talking to my dad. Wait, what? Your dad's still up? Isn't it, like, past midnight there? He called me before he went to bed. He wanted me to tell you something. Uh, oh, what then? He, um... He changed his mind. He said he would let us stay here. What? Really? Oh my god! Wait, so this means we're all staying here for the summer? Only if your parents approve. I can already tell this is going to be an interesting summer. Wait, why did your dad change his mind all of a sudden? He, um, had a change of heart, I guess? 
so you're lying to Pink and destroying her once in a lifetime chance just so you can't marry me? I... You are so selfish. W what? You heard me, Jacob Anderlil. You have no right to call me an awful person because you are doing the same exact thing that I'm doing. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You were only looking out for yourself, which is the same thing I'm doing. I guess we aren't so different after all. I am not like you at all. Oh, really? Take one second to stop thinking about yourself and look around. Does Pink look happy? Do you know what you are stopping her from doing? Everyone knows she loves to act, and guess what? Your chance is stopping her from actually reaching her dreams, and for what? Just because you can't give up this once to see someone else happy. That's selfish. <sighs> Let me give you a piece of advice. Let her go. The longer you're with her, the more hurt she's going to be in the end. If you keep this going, no matter what choice you make, wouldn't that still make you selfish? Pulling her along until the very end just to hurt her. I honestly feel bad for her because she has no idea what's happening. Do her a favor. Let her go. Well, whatever happened, I'm just so happy. It's really happening! You should call Mr. Lee quickly and tell him. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Jacob, I'm glad your dad changed his mind. Pink was really looking forward to this. Yeah, excuse me, I'll be right back. Voicemail. Great. Hi, Father. It's me. I just wanted to let you know that... that I've come to a decision. I... I accept your conditions. I will marry Amber. Hello, Mr. Lee. This is Pink Elfin again. Ah, Miss Elfman, what can I do for you? Well, I wanted to let you know that I'll take the role. That's great news! I'm very excited that you accepted the role. I assume you found a place to stay for the summer? Yes, indeed I did. Fantastic! I'll have someone pick you up this Saturday to take you to my office so you can get the script for your role and for you to meet your co-stars. I look forward to seeing you Saturday. Alright, sounds good and I look forward to seeing you as well. Goodbye, Mr. Lee! Mom, it's happening. It's actually happening. Jacob's dad said no, but then he said yes. And my first day is Saturday, and I'm, I'm just so nervous. Call me back when you get this. I love you. Bye. <laughs> yes, this is the best day of my life. <laughs>